This is Bernie Sanders' platform. These are Bernie Sanders' issues. Healthcare for all. We say to the private health insurance companies, whether you like it or not, the United States will join every other major country on earth and guarantee healthcare to all people as a right. All Americans are entitled to go to the doctor when they're sick and not go bankrupt after staying in the hospital. College for all. Today, we say to our young people that we want you to get the best education that you can, regardless of the income of your family. Good jobs require a good education. That is why we are going to make public colleges and universities tuition-free and substantially lower the outrageous level of student debt that currently exists. Fight for working families. We will no longer accept 46% of all new income going to the top 1%, while millions of Americans are forced to work two or three jobs just to survive and over half of our people live paycheck to paycheck. We will no longer accept a situation in which, in the wealthiest country in the history of the world, our younger generation will have a lower standard of living than their parents. Jobs for all. When we are in the White House, we will enact a federal jobs guarantee to ensure that everyone is guaranteed a stable job. There is more than enough work to be done in this country. Let's do it. Expand Social Security. Today, we say to our senior citizens that we understand that you cannot live in dignity when you are trying to survive on $13,000 or $14,000 a year in Social Security benefits. My Republican colleagues want to cut Social Security but we have some bad news for them. We're not going to cut Social Security benefits, we're going to expand them. Combat climate change, a Green New Deal. We say to Donald Trump and the fossil fuel industry that climate change is not a hoax but is an existential threat to our country and the entire planet, and we intend to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel and into energy, efficiency and sustainable energy and, in the process, create millions of good-paying jobs. All of us have a moral responsibility to make certain that the planet we leave to our children and grandchildren is healthy and habitable. Meet our commitment to veterans. If you can't afford to take care of your veterans, then don't go to war. These people are bearing the brunt of what war is about. We have a moral obligation to support them. Enact a responsible comprehensive foreign policy. Together, as the forces of militarism have kept us engaged in unending wars, we have stood arm in arm to fight back. We're not going to invest in never-ending wars. Fight for women's rights. When we are in the White House, we are going to protect a woman's right to control her own body. That is her decision, not the government's. Fight for disability rights. We as a nation have a moral responsibility to ensure that all Americans have access to the programs and the support needed to contribute to society, live with dignity, and achieve a high quality of life. Fight for LGBTQ equality. People have the right to love who they want to love and get married regardless of their sexual orientation. Incredibly, today in many states, it is still legal to fire someone for being gay. That is unacceptable and must change. Empower the people of Puerto Rico. Now is the time to rebuild Puerto Rico. I want the people of Puerto Rico to know that they are not forgotten, that they are not alone, and that we will do everything we possibly can to rebuild the island. Demand wealthy and corporations and Wall Street pay fair share. The wealthy and multinational corporations in this country will start paying their fair share of taxes. We are going to end austerity for working families and provide some austerity for large, multinational corporations. Enough on gun safety. When we are in the White House, we will move aggressively to end the epidemic of gun violence in this country and pass the common sense gun safety legislation that the overwhelming majority of Americans want. Real racial justice. Today, we say to the prison industrial complex that we are going to bring about real criminal justice reform. We are going to end the international embarrassment of having more people in jail than any other country on earth. Instead of spending $80 billion a year on jails and incarceration, we are going to invest in jobs and education for our young people. No more private prisons and detention centers. No more profiteering from locking people up. No more war on drugs, no more keeping people in jail because they're too poor to afford cash bail. Yes on immigration reforms. Today, we say to the American people that instead of demonizing the undocumented immigrants in this country, we're going to pass comprehensive immigration reform and provide a path towards citizenship. We're going to provide legal status to the 1.8 million young people eligible for the DACA program and develop a humane border policy for those who seek asylum. No more snatching babies from the arms of their mothers. Empower tribal nations. 
Time and time again, our Native American brothers and sisters have seen the federal government break solemn promises and huge corporations put profits ahead of the sovereign rights of Native communities. I will stand with Native Americans in the struggle to protect their treaty and sovereign rights, advance traditional ways of life, and improve the quality of life for Native communities. Real Wall Street reforms. I want to welcome you to a campaign which tells the powerful special interests who control so much of our economic and political life that we will no longer tolerate the greed of Wall Street, corporate America and the billionaire class, greed which has resulted in this country having more income and wealth inequality than any other major country on earth. Invest in rural America. The crisis in America's small towns and rural communities is the result of deliberate policy choices by a political class that neglects rural America, rather than investing in it. The time is long overdue for the U.S. government to stand with rural America, and that is exactly what I will do. Fight for fair trade and workers. We need a trade policy that benefits American workers and creates living wage jobs, not unfair trade agreements written by multinational corporations. Invest in public education and teachers. Today, we say to our young people that we want you to get the best education that you can, regardless of the income of your family. Together, as billionaires and large corporations have attacked unions and destroyed pensions, we have supported teachers who successfully stood up for their kids in strike after strike after strike, big money out of politics and restore democracy. Together, we are going to create a political system which is based on the democratic principles of one person, one vote, and end a corrupt system which allows billionaires to buy elections. Yes. We are going to overturn Citizens United, move to public funding of elections.